What's up, everybody? What's up? Today, we got that good, good. We got Popeye chicken. <laughs> you know, your girl loves some chicken, baby. You gotta have that chicken. Yeah, gotta have that chicken. Got the plates. We got mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm -hmm. And some red beans and rice. The red beans and rice is cams. Mm -hmm. we, we just gonna eat the mashed potatoes, but yeah. A lot of mashed potatoes. I think the rice was there. Pepper beans and rice? Mm -hmm. Okay. Get this. Did I give you the spoon? The little spoon? No, I didn't need no spoon, baby. Okay, we'll just use the fork. What's up, really, y'all? What's up? Popeyes has the best mashed potatoes and gravy, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. I just be craving mashed potatoes and gravy for some they're reason. They're the best. They're the best. Either way. We're going to move this box out the way. We're going to just like. We're just going to put it over here. You got your biscuit? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just need a. Um, wow, this. I just need my fork. Oh. My bad. You good, buddy. Got that. Um, y'all yeah, ever tried the yes. Cajun Sparkle? Got the Cajun Sparkle on deck. Y'all like that? I never tried. You never had it? Mm mm. Can't try it now. Got to be free. Alright. Set mine to the side. I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna try a little bit of. Thank you, God, for this food that we're about to receive. And, God, we pray that you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Got some of that good. Oh, shoot. Sure. It smells good. <laughs> it smells good. Let's see what this hitting on. Look what salt and pepper is. You got to have the Popeye's honey. You can't go get some regular honey, y'all. And put it on the biscuit. You got to have the pie pies, honey. You got to. I don't go crazy with it, though. I just like to cover my top up. I don't like it to go all over, y'all. You know what? I just like to put it on top. Yeah, because it, it starts dripping. Put it to the side. I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. What's that? That uh, sparkle sauce. Oh, the sparkle. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I just put on my lead. <laughs> I know y'all like, here y'all ice. Got that sparkle on it. Gotta have that crunch. Mm, mm, so good. Uh oh. Mm hmm. I like it, don't you? That sparkle mm -hmm. hidden. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> I ain't know. That's good, y'all, for real. Mm hmm. Y'all ever go to Popeye? Ask for that Cajun Sparkle, y'all. That ain't told me nothing. Let me be so good. Ooh. That's good. Mm, thank you. Move to the left, hey. Y'all, that song stuck in my head, my blues song. <laughs> That'd be good when she starts singing. <laughs> Y'all see me start dancing? When she starts singing? Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, 
I like that folk song. It, it's good. It is good. My uh my baby boy Cam and Team that I made them a blue song, y'all. Moving all night. Mm-hmm. Listen, I'm good at too. Mm. Mm. That sounds good. The salt. It's a seasoning. Oh, it's good. I can fry my chicken with it. <laughs> Real. They just got it. They got the, just got the spoken. Girl, that's been around. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's been around a long time. They, um, I don't know if they've had it long here, but I know they've always had it in like, oh, um, girl, <laughs> is this a prank? No, I guess it was. Oh, you, is this you a prank? Me. <laughs> you prank me. <laughs> she pranked me, y'all. Y'all, I promise oh, I didn't prank she, her. <laughs> she the one who brought me my drink. No, I swear I didn't do it. I didn't do it, y'all. Oh. I didn't do it. Not did this it. time. Yeah. <laughs> Not this time, honey. Not this time. I got her, y'all. <laughs> I got her. Mm. <laughs> My own potatoes and got a little sweetness in it. Oh, no. Dang. She pranked me out. No, I didn't. I didn't, y'all. She did. I'm I glad I got on my it. shirt, though. I do. I'm glad I didn't get on the rug, man. It just fell on my shirt. It's I, time to hit my own. Sometimes get that coat. I should have got a coat coat. <laughs> I'm sorry that happened. I swear I ain't do it this time, y'all. Mm -mm, I ain't gonna own up to that. She did. Y'all don't don't let that pretty face fool y'all. <laughs> I swear I didn't do it. She would point somebody. <laughs> They woke me up a little bit. I was just like, oh, now they woke me up. Dang. That crunch. I love me some chicken, y'all. I wish, um, it's been like some years. They took our church's chicken away, y'all. How they gonna take the church's chicken away? Mm-hmm. We have to drive, like, 40 minutes <clears throat> just to get to a church's chicken. Mm-mm. That's far. Yeah. Y'all ready for the story time? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all. Man. We had a brown beard. <laughs> Let's save them. That's just funny right there. <laughs> we had a brown beard and a saber, y'all. <laughs> and it had a gas leak. But somehow... You can smell it coming off under the hood. Can I say something? Mm -hmm. First ahead. of all, when we got the Buick, y'all, it rode so good. But the only thing was, <laughs> we didn't know until we had bought the car that the gas needle did not work. It did not work, y'all. Mm -hmm. So we never knew when the car had, you know, yes, it was on empty. Or anything, yeah. And so, before she get off into this story, the window, had, <laughs> it had fell down one day. So, my son, he went out there thinking he was going to fix the window. And he took the door on the inside off. And, you know, you take it off, it ain't number metal, y'all. Number metal. Well, anyway, he opened it up. Try to put the window back on track or whatever. 
could never get the door back on, like the inside door back on. So here I am riding around inside of the door, metal. Just remember that part. Go ahead, babe. So it was so bad, y'all, that the smell was coming off from under the hood. And it got to the point where you could see the fumes <laughs> coming off under the hood. So, babe ended up getting her a new car. And I decided to just, you know, just ride along with the car, you know what I'm saying? Because the car was still working. There wasn't nothing wrong with it. just smell like gas all the damn time. <laughs> and the gas smell got worse and worse. It got so bad to work. Um, my, my neighbors and stuff didn't even want to park by the car. That's how bad it got. So, one day, you know, she said about the gas thing. So, this is what happened. Like, we never knew that we had gas in the car. So, one day, we run out of gas in front of the uh, uh, water place, the water bill place. So, I was like, damn. So, I was like, shoot. I said, I got to walk to the store and get some gas, baby. I ain't going to let you walk. So, I get out. I'm gone. I'm halfway down the road. I just see a little, you know, a little white lady just pull over. She kept saying, hey. She drove past me and said, you need a ride? It was traffic behind her. And I was like, oh, yes, ma'am, if you want to give me a ride. Now, I don't know who the woman was or nothing. So I, she turned back around. I get in the car, y'all. So I get in the car. She was like, uh, I see your friend. She was in the car. And I seen y'all when, when the car had uh, stopped working. And I'll take you to the gas station. And I was like, oh, that was nice of you to do that. She was like, um, so we pulled up at the gas station. She was like, you need some gas money? And I'm like, no, I got the money. I just need to get back to the car or whatever. So she was nice, y'all. She came out of her job to give me a ride to, uh, and then come back to the car. But anyway, story get worse. So I ended up getting me a job up the street. You know what I'm saying? Not far from the house. So I ended up getting me a job and, um. You know, I'm coming to work every day. It was cool. Everybody wasn't tripping about the gas smell, so it was cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work back and forth. So, this particular day, I show up at work. <clears throat> about 20 minutes later, you know, I'm parking where everybody parked at. 20 minutes later, my manager come tap me on the shoulder and say, Hey, your car is out there smoking up on the hood. <laughs> And I was like, oh, oh, it do that sometimes. He was like, no, nah, it's smoking bad. <laughs> so, so I go out there. I had to go out there and just raise the hood up and stuff like that. So, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing. I'm used to it. So, I'm standing over there. I'm embarrassed, though, for a little minute. So, I'm standing over there smoking my black. Then one of the coworkers said, hey, man, you going to smoke over there by the car? I said, man, cool. I ain't tripping. I know that car. So, I'm <laughs> smoking my black by the car and stuff. And, um... So I come back in, get through work, get through with my shoe. The next day, I come up there, go to work. He tapped me on my shoulder again, talking about made car smoking again. So I, I go out there, do the same thing I did. I come back in, he go say, "Uh, can you move your car down, like on down?" I was like, "Okay, I'll move it down." He said, "No, I want you to move way down there by the dumpster." Oh my god! I was so embarrassed, y'all. Embarrassing. I'm moving like damn. I'm caught by the dumpster. And y'all, people in the neighborhood knew the car. <laughs> That's just how loud and everybody that is smelling, mm -hmm. and everybody was just so scared of the car. Oh, man, this old now, man. Oh, go ahead, baby. Now, remember, I told you that on the inside of the car, the door was just straight metal. My sons, my son ain't got no sense at all. <laughs> he had everybody in the neighborhood calling my car <laughs> the, the gas, gas terminator. terminator. <laughs> the gas terminator. Y'all know how when the terminator got his flesh peeled off and it was metal. <laughs> uh, he had everybody in the neighborhood calling my car. The gas terminator. Oh, man. I was so embarrassed. I was on. We couldn't even go to the store. We couldn't even go to the store, y'all. One day, I pulled up at the grocery store. It's this old man. He like, he about 80. He get out the car. When I get out the car, 
I turn around, and I'm almost in the store. Some said, Tink, turn around. I turn around. He got right. his hands in his pocket, just standing in front of the car. I said, oh, I'm, I said, he probably just smelled that gas. I come back out. I'm talking about I'm in the store by 30 minutes. I come back out. That man in the same spot. He was with in his, the same, same spot, spot with his hand in his pocket. Like he was uh, guarding our car. So I get, I walk back to the car. He said, hey, is that your car? I said, yeah. He said, oh, that gas smelling pretty bad. I was like, I know. I said, it's okay. I'm going to get in it. He said, you're going to get in it. I said, mm -hmm. yes, sir. I'm going to get in it. He said, wait, wait, wait. He got concerned. He was like, well, you need me to uh, follow you home? I was like, no, sir. It's fine. I said, I'll be in this car all the time. It's fine. I said, I'll just be going back and forth. He was like, well, let me pray <laughs> before, before you get in this car. Yeah. That man wanted to pray for us before we got in the yeah. car. So embarrassing. Why did that car? We had some strange things happening with, with that car. Mm-hmm. From people wanting to pray, wanting to guard a car. Got the window back up. Had to ride with the door open in the yeah. summertime because it's so yeah. hot. Her window was the only window that come down on the driver's yeah, side. Yeah, and you couldn't help but, I mean, whoo, that gas smell, y'all. That gas smell. That was a dangerous situation, baby. He ain't have some more no weed. You gonna be hot smelling the gas. That was a dangerous situation. But, y'all... They said the gas terminator <laughs> was Man, that coming was, through. That was horrible. When they finally stopped working. I stopped driving them. But boy, <clears throat> hell's the time with that car. <clears throat> That was an embarrassment. That's what that was. Like, for real. Mm -hmm. It was an embarrassment. <laughs> My poor bae had to drive to work in the gas terminator. They tell me pour it by the dump so like they was just ready for me to throw it away. You should have told them what the name of the car was. Bae, what if they would have found out No, because I was already mad because they made me pour it by the dump. So, and then I got to walk way to the dump. Bae, they was afraid for their lives. Them people thought that car was going to blow up at any moment. They was afraid for their car. So I parked beside them. I parked with the employees parked here. Well, babe, what if somebody had, you know how, excuse me, y'all. You know how when people ride through it and just thump the cigarette out? I would thump them out. What, <laughs> what if they thumped that cigarette out Damn. and it landed under the car and the whole a, car blew up? I was smoking a black and mild on the way to work in the car. Let me tell y'all about. I guess God. Let me with tell y'all about uh, our friend. Well, he uh he's hearing impaired, and um he would come over every evening and he smoked cigarettes, y'all. Yeah. And so the car is parked up there by the sidewalk in front of the house, right? Mm -hmm. And we told him over and over, hey, the car is leaking gas. And I don't know why he would do this every day. He'd come over and he smoked his cigarettes. Mm -hmm. He would thump them at the car. Thump them at the car. And I'm like, thank you. He got one more time to thump a cigarette at the car. The whole apartment complex is going to be gone. I kept telling him, but he kept doing it. And he kept doing it. And one day he thumped a cigarette, y'all. And I promise, I am not lying on everything. He thumped it right there by the windshield wipers. Tink had to run over there and hurry up and get the get damn the cigarette, cigarette about the road off the car. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. We telling about to run up, roll under the hood. We was about to be gone. Yeah. Day. We had so many episodes to where that car was fixing to blow up. It was fixing to blow up, babe. God was with me. God was with all of us. He was really with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Babe, I was, when, they, when they see you coming, I was riding in that car by faith. <laughs> they see you coming to work, baby. They always I bet, in there talking. Let me tell you, they see me coming to work in the morning. They had out both of the drive through windows like this, <laughs> trying to see where I was parking there. <laughs> I would have parked right there in the front, too. I just get mad. I turn, I turn in and be like, I got to walk all the way to this damn door. <laughs> I got to walk out with Babe, she door. was so embarrassed, y'all. She was like, Silla, 
I got to drive this car up here. I don't want to go up in there in that car. I said, well, babe. They would take me Because, see, through. I had to go to work before she did, so I couldn't drop her off, and she had to drive herself to mm -hmm. work, y'all, because that's the only way she could get to work. And she used to be so embarrassed. She was like, silly. I don't want to. They already be talking about me. I don't want to pull up in this car and this car smell. You can smell the car. I'm mean, talking about it was so. Before you even get to the car, y'all, yeah. you can smell it. You can smell it. Y'all, my baby was about to be fried, burnt up to a crease. Oh, God with me. Lord, Lord, Lord. The good. gas terminator. I ain't never going to forget it. That's why I was listening to my head. Y'all ain't got to work. <laughs> I ain't lying. Baby, you survived the beauty. Surviving the beauty. Surviving the beauty. That's, that was that, that was my confession. Surviving yeah, the beauty. Surviving the beauty. Yep. I survived, y'all. Lord, thank God, though. We ain't got to deal with that beauty no more. The gas terminator. You ain't even worry about me smoking no cigarettes. I told like, you oh, don't work. do it. Well, I told you not to do it. I wasn't even thinking about that. I just. <laughs> <laughs> y'all should have seen it, y'all. You know, she drive. She's so short. She drive all the way up mm -hmm. like this. I, I drive up leaning back. I can see her coming around the corner. Mm. Flames just flames. Oh. You, you know when y'all see the little gas fumes. That's messed up, sis. You can see her coming around the corner. You would have seen, seen me see rolling. You would have seen me rolling out that car. <laughs> black still stuck in my mouth. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Yo. Man, y'all, that was time. That was man. crazy. That was crazy. And the food was good tonight. Yeah, it was. I think it was the I'm so full. Mm -hmm. We're going to yeah. have to keep getting that. Why How long? Is it for a limited time? No, it's, this is what Popeye's got. Mm -hmm. Y'all, it's so small, I can't even read it. What are you trying to read? What's all in it? The seasonings? Let me see. It looks like it's got garlic, mm -hmm. peppers, onions, I don't know, but it's good. It's like a real good seasoning, like some type of seasoning salt. It's good though, yeah. Yeah, it's real good. Well, that's it, y'all. That's the story of the um the gas terminator. I had to tell y'all about that, man. Mm -hmm. That was that was a time. <laughs> Well, anyway, time. we got more to come. I promise. We have more to come. I um, wanted to tell y'all a different story, but yeah, I want to tell y'all that night. Well, though. every time it's not gonna be a story time, y'all. Uh -uh. We're just gonna, you know, do some different stuff. But mm -hmm. yeah, we had to. We told y'all we had a lot of crazy stories. That was one of them. Yeah, we got more stories that we might share with y'all. <clears throat> she see, she just did a prank in my turn. I did not do a prank. Prank. I promise you, I didn't do it. She did. But I got you though. Excuse me. I got you. She got me. See, see, she no, got me. She no. got me, y'all. I got you on. Uh, she when you me. least, when you least expect it, I got you. I got that ice too. No. When you least expect it, so I don't be you. You thinking it. it's gonna be anytime soon. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, it's gonna be when you least expect it. I got her, y'all. I got she her. She got me tonight. Mm hmm. It was her, y'all. She passed me the soda. Yeah, but I didn't do that, though. She tell me when we get out the camera. <laughs> she was, I'm sorry. No, I would have told you if I did it, but I didn't do it. Yeah. But anyway, y'all, make sure if you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that bell so you know when we're dropping videos. videos. We love y'all. We'll y see so you much. next time. Peace. Bust that ass for your city. Bust that ass for your city.